The whites who came here only, uh, say, 50 years ago as immigrants have come into this country. They have set up businesses. They've developed these businesses into an industry. Some of, the, some of them came here as poor immigrants, uneducated, and yet today they're economically independent. Now, the black man here was so-called free by Lincoln 100 years ago. The black man in America has a, has a purchasing power of $20 billion. Now, and he's educated. If the white man can come here uneducated and as an immigrant, and within 10 or 15 years set up an industry that provides job opportunities and educational opportunities for black people, then if the black man, the black leadership, uh, who has access to all of this money and has all of these degrees today, can't use his talent and his know-how to set up uh, business opportunities, job opportunities, housing opportunities for the black people, the same as the white leaders have done for white people, then these black leaders need to get off the boat. They're not leading our people toward any kind of independence, but they're using their positions and their education and their talent to exploit our people worse than the slave master did during slavery. Black people were unable to do this, so they were left at a, at a level of a beggar because the political representative who was supposed to be representing us uh, would uh, demand um, certain rights, and uh, after uh, he didn't receive it, that people were forced to be mute because they didn't um, they didn't have the the, uh, the tools to deliver this consequence. Well, this went on for some time, and finally, the uh, very political representative was ousted out of office, and I think that. Uh, and uh, after uh, he was ousted out of office, that uh, black people in general uh, um, remained in uh, primarily the same position they were, that they were in before he went into office. And in fact, they even quit voting largely. That's right. Uh, they were disillusioned uh, with the political arena completely, that, uh, and rightfully so. Uh, because while uh, the black uh, intellectuals at the time and the representatives, uh, many of them were very uh, equipped. Uh, they had been educated in uh, Canada and France and so forth. They were more educated than many, many of the, uh, the white people in the South. So uh, the people uh, were disillusioned. The mass of the people were disillusioned with the uh, political arena completely. And... Uh, <clears throat> Matter of fact, uh, they had some uh, reservations about it in the first place. While the black intellectuals and politicians were going around saying that we would get freedom uh, through the vote, uh, black people were chanting, in the days of Jubilee, we'll have 40 acres and two mules in the days of Jubilee. And uh, so the people uh, seemed to always recognize uh, where their real power was located. Um, it was the uh, the black bourgeoisie or the uh, black intellectuals who were deceived.